Dimas TV, God's voice that brings hope to the nations. Oh, I love what we are going to read today. This day. This new day. I love what we are going to read today. It is from John chapter 15 and verse 16. I love this portion of scripture. Do you know what it says? You did not choose me but I chose you and I appointed you. I appointed that you would go and bear fruit and that your fruit would remain so that whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. You know, this is a very, I, I like the way Jesus, you know, brings us to the point where we need to understand things. He says, do you know what? You did not choose me. It's me who chose you. Jesus says like that. You did not choose him. He chose you. And he says, I chose you that you may go and bear much fruit. So that when you ask anything from my father in my name, it may be given to you. So Jesus is going back to what he said. If you bear fruit, God is glorified in you. And th then you can ask anything from God and it will be done for you. But one of the things that really, really excites my heart, and I want you to be excited. Did you know that this morning, I mean, I want you to know this morning that you are the chosen one of God. Yeah. In First Peter, you remember? Chapter 2. You are a royal priesthood. A chosen generation. You are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. A peculiar people for God himself. You are once a people who did not obtain mercy. But now you have obtained mercy. You are the people of God. Oh my, this morning I lift up my hands and I just thank God because I am chosen. I am chosen. I am chosen. I may not be a millionaire. I may not be so educated. I may not be, you know, I may not be, you know, I may not be the most popular, but guess what? I am chosen by the Lord. I am chosen by the Lord. Brother, I want you to be proud of one thing, that you are the chosen of God. Sister, break out with joy. Because you are the chosen of God. The Lord bless you and watch over you and keep you. But before we, we finish today, I just want us to finish up with verse 17. This I command you, that you love one another. So Jesus has told us, if you don't love, if you don't produce fruit, you are none of his. So this morning, choose to love and rejoice that you are the chosen. In the name of Jesus, Holy Father, I thank you. And I give you praise and glory. And I declare your protection, your mercy, your favor upon your people. And Lord, from today, your people will walk in victory and fulfill everything that you have called them to. And to, I praise you and I give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.